Hi everyone, my name is Xin Juma and I'm a PhD student from the University of Sydney. Today I will present our paper diving into localization errors for monocular 3D detection. And in this paper, we focus on the 3D object detection problem from monocular images. And different from the 2D object detection, which aim to estimate objects' relative positions and size in the image plane, our task try to describe the objects by their absolute locations, size, and hiding angle in the 3D world space. And to this end, we build a one-stage object detector with seven heights to predict the required items for both 2D detection and 3D detection. And then we evaluate the results on the most commonly used KT data sites in this field. And we can see there is a huge performance gap between the 2D detection and the 3D detection. And even if both of them are generated from the same object detector. And what makes this performance gap? And to answer this question, we use a ground truth to progressively replace each item of the 3D bounding box, including the size, position, and hiding angle. We observed that when the position of the bounding box is replaced, the accuracy of 3D detection achieves a similar level to that of 2D detection. And this phenomenon indicates that localized error is a bottleneck of the 3D detection. And another question is what makes this localized errors? How we, how we visualize the cause of the localization errors? And to recover the object's position in the 3D space, we need to estimate its position in the image plane. And with the help of the camera parameters, we can determine the direction of the objects. And then we estimate the depth of the objects so we can get the 3D positions. And coupled with the estimate size and the hiding angles, the 3D object, objects in the real world can be described. And next, we will give our strategies to improve the accuracy according to previous analysis. And here we show the branch 2D bounding box and the 3D bounding box. And we can see there is a misalignment between the center of 2D bounding box and the projected center of 3D bounding box. And this misalignment should be aware in building the 3D detector. And besides, we also find the 2D detection can be regarded as an auxiliary task to the 3D detection. And the joint training can make the model aware of the geometric information of the object, thereby improving the accuracy of center localization. And let's see our second design. We found the error of the depth estimation increases with the depth. Uh, what's worse, the localization errors on the 2D image will be magnified, uh, magnified by the depth. And as shown, a very small error in the image plane will cause a large error in the 3D words, 3D world space, uh, especially for the far away objects. And those two regions make it impossible to detect, detect the far away objects accurately from the monocular images with the existing technologies. And for this region, we dynamically adjust the training weight for the each samples. And for the near for the near objects, we increase their training weights, while for the far away objects, we reduce their training weights. And this design can ensure that the network will not be dominated by the uh, extremely difficult samples. And finally, we also found there is still an imp uh, improvement room caused by the uh, accurate estimation of 3D size and hiding angles. And here, we also propose a new loss function, which is derived from the 3D LU to better estimate the size of the object. And please refer to our, please refer to our papers for more details. Here, we present our evaluation results on the KT testing site, and we give the monocular 3D detector published from the CPR 2019 to CPR 2021 at baselines. And we can see the pro proposed models achieve the best results among those methods including the easy setting, moderate setting, and the hard settings. And to summarize, this paper explores the error patterns in the monocular suit detection and finds the localization error is a bottleneck of this task. Besides, they also analyze what makes the localization errors and propose the Swiss strategy accordingly to improve the performance. And by the way, our code will be released before the conference. And that's all, thank you.